Hello, welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. As you can see, I'm with my buddy Michael at Heimbrook America, and we're going to talk about the importance of automation, the quick change that Heimbrook offers, and we're actually going to take this from theory that you see here to practice on an Akuma machine today. So stay tuned, you're going to see something awesome. Michael, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC, my friend. Thank you, coming, Tony. Absolutely. So let's talk quickly about quick change because I know how important that is to Heimbrook. And then let's talk about the significance of automation with the Heimbrook product. Sounds great. Well, what, what we got here today is I, I brought the main product of the Heimbrook. So the ability to go from ID, OD, three jaw, two jaw, you name it, future adaptions. That's what this is all about. It's all about flexibility. It's about precision, and that's what Heimbook brings to the market. You're absolutely correct. Flexibility, precision, but let's not forget about the significance of your rigidity. And correct me if I'm wrong, my friend, but don't you guys have an added 25% compared to other products out there on the market? With this product, yes. The Hex Design product does allow you 25% more holding power than anything else on the market. And you still get to use the adaptions that belong with this chuck. So yes, it's a, a much better benefit. Plus, it's completely sealed. So you don't get the chips that you would get from the round design. So you have an opportunity with the round design to get some contamination. This product is completely sealed. You do not have that issue with this chuck. But now we can even dive into automation as well. So now the human aspect and the imperfections of a human have kind of been transitioned into the automation side of things through Heimbrook as well, hasn't it? Yes, it has. We've, over the last multiple years, approximately four years, we've been looking more and more into the automation technology to the point where we knew that we would have to come up with something that would allow our work holding to be automated on, on CNC machines. And that's what you see here. That's our future. Our future's the AC line, the ability to take a chuck, automate it, be able to take an end stop, automate it, clamping head, it doesn't matter. We have the ability with the automation to be able to do that on your machine. Great technology, we're just looking towards the future. I really feel like, Michael, that most of us are running as quickly as we can toward automation because we're seeing the significance and the importance of what it means to be able to automate a shop. You know, some people are running to different areas of automation, but the quick change from Heimbrook is one of those things, and we get to see that today in action on the Akuma, don't we? I am looking forward to it. Let's go take a look, Sounds shall we? great, absolutely. All right, guys, now we're taking you from theory into practice on this beautiful Akuma machine on both the main spindle and the sub spindle, machining the first side of the part and the second side of the part. Michael's gonna go into more detail about what's actually happening here and the Heimbrook products that are being used. Michael. Go ahead, my friend. Well, first of all, let me tell you how beautiful these chucks look on this beautiful machine. Absolutely exquisite. What I did, what we did here is we, we put two span top minis, 80s, both dead lengths, which allow the transfer from the part from the main to the sub. Works out perfect, perfect for the machine. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for anything better. Both of them are great fits. If this was an automated setup with Heimbrook in this Akuma machine, how exactly would that work as well? The robot comes in, removes trucks, ID, OD, how does that all work? Well, obviously, with the flexibility, you have all those options when it comes to automation. Our product will allow you to do basically anything that you can imagine. So we can do a clamping head chuck, we can do ID. It doesn't matter, it could be a three jaw. And we can again add any product, we can do end stops. We can do custom end stops. There are so many different options that are utilized in automation. It just, it's the future, bottom line. Absolutely correct. And I'd like if you could elaborate a little bit on the stock here in America because you guys have a lot of inventory to support customers overnight without losing the significance and relevance that you guys do a ton of custom work with over a hundred patents as well. So if a customer out there or a potential customer out there goes, well, my setup's a bit unique. Can Heimbook help me as well? You can, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's really a big part of our business. We're very adaptable. We have the engineers. We have the team. You can give us a project. We'll tackle the project and we'll come up with a solution for you. That's our expertise. 
Well, we've talked about flexibility, we've talked about rigidity, we've talked about the importance of automation. Before I close this whole thing out, and thank you for being here, is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience to help inspire them to understand the significance of the Heimbook product? It's pure precision. It's engineered to perfection. A lot of work goes into making these products, and actually a lot of engineering for creating new products. It is the best of the best, and it'll make your life a lot easier. Powerful statement, Michael. You are amazing. Recently touched base with your German guys. I look forward to joining possibly you heading over to Germany and talking more Heimbuch. Oh, that would be fun. Thank you so much for being a part of MTD and conveying this message to our global audience. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it.